name is Sue Bloom, and I'm the librarian at Peabody Elementary School. We are the first campus of the Capitol Hill Cluster School, and I'm so happy to join you to read a wonderful book called Alfie the Turtle That Disappeared. This book is one of the DC Three Star Book Award titles, so my students at Peabody loved reading this this year. Our author and illustrator is Thyra Hedder, and let me open up to the title page. The publisher of this book is Abrams Books for Young Readers. And there's a close-up of Alfie. Now let's go back to the front cover. You'll see a little girl. Her name is Nia. She's one of our main characters. And then we have Alfie. And this is a story about friendship. So as you listen, think about how Nia and Alfie show their friendship to each other. And think about your friends and how you show your friendship with your friends at school, your friends in your neighborhood. And here we go. On my sixth birthday, I got Alfie. You can see Nia here at the pet store, looking at fish, looking at frogs, but she chose Alfie. The lady at the store said he looked about six too. We were six together at home on my carpet. He stood very still. <laughs> I don't think he had ever been on carpeting before. So there she is. She <clears throat> bought a new tank for him. And at home, she took him out of the tank and is drawing him a picture. I introduced him to everyone. Oh my goodness, can you see in this picture all of her stuffies, her teddy bear, her polar bear, her lammy, her trains, her bunny rabbit, and there's Alfie meeting all of her friends. I taught him my wiggle dance and I made him presents but he didn't seem to notice. I showed him my costumes and I wrote him songs. Mostly, he stayed inside his shell. And there you can see Nia's dancing, playing music, teaching him how to dance, but she doesn't know if he's really getting it. Every day I told him stories like how Dasha got new overalls and how Ruth lost a tooth and how Peter from downstairs got a fish. I even told him my best joke about the walrus wearing pants. But he didn't seem to get the joke. And there you see Nia sharing all these things. After a while, I kind of forgot about Alfie. He didn't really do much. Well, until the morning of my seventh birthday when, and I'll turn the page in a minute, but I hope you can all see there's Alfie in his tank and just past him is Nia with her family having breakfast and planning her birthday party. It's her seventh birthday. Uh-oh, he disappeared. You can see his tank, but there's no Alfie. And this is a good time to notice she made his name in beautiful colored cards. She put pictures all around, animals up top. She had made him a very nice home, but he's not there. So that was Nia's part of the story. And now we're going to hear from Alfie. When I first saw Nia, I knew she was special. <gasps> That's Alfie looking up at Nia at the pet store when she decided that he was going to be what she wanted for her sixth birthday. She told me that I was six and she was six too. I had never been six before, but I was happy we were six together. Her home tickled my toes, but she smelled nice, so I was calm. And there's Nia drawing a picture for Alfie and Alfie on her carpeting that he'd never felt before. She had tons of friends. <laughs> there's Alfie meeting all of her stuffies and her trains. 
Nia taught me to dance. I practiced wiggling inside my shell. She gave me presents. I had never been given presents. And I'll show you close up. Can you see the two presents she gave to Alfie? If you said shell, you are right. And right next to the shell is a little rock. And do you see what she drew on the rock? Yep, a smiley face. She made me laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> There's Alfie smiling. How could I make her as happy as she made me? I had to think. Oh, and there you can see even more of the decorations that Nia had made for Alfie's tank. And think and think. Oh, there she is. <gasps> hanging up another pretty picture she made for him. Nia was planning her seventh birthday. She told me we were going to be seven together. And there's Alfie. And if you look just past Alfie, you'll see Nia with her mom and her dad. <gasps> and there's a balloon <gasps> with the number seven on it. I had to find her a present. And look, it looks like Alfie is thinking of leaving his tank, his home. Oh. There were some good options behind the couch, but they were too dusty. So there's Alfie down on the floor. He sees a dusty puzzle piece but he doesn't think that she would like that. <gasps> and look, do you see Nia's on the floor in the other room, down, looking, looking. Do you think she's looking for her lost pet, Alfie? I'll bet she is. I looked in all the corners and shadows and cracks, and I found some great places, but no great presence. And there you'll see Nia walking right by as Alfie's under the radiator. And here, Alfie walked right into a slipper. And there, he's still looking for a good gift. I think he's down in the kitchen. I asked Toby and he said, ruff, ruff, you should try outside. Ruff, ruff, outside is the best, outside is the best. Ruff, ruff, get her a stick. Hmm, Alfie thinks that, I'm sorry, Toby thinks that Alfie should get a stick for Nia. Do you think? Nia wants a stick for her birthday? I'm not sure about that. I had never been outside before. Oh, here's Alfie, venturing outside at the top of the balcony. I climb past some stinky things and sweet things, but nothing as fun as Nia. I had to keep looking. So here is Alfie. He went by some stinky soccer shoes, some sweet smelling, flowers and then he got to the end of the balcony and decided to take a jump. I had to take a risk. Down he fell and into a pile of leaves. Hmm. I crunched through the red leaves and oranges and yellows but the longer I looked for a special one the browner they got. I found a nice blue cap but it was too small for Mia's head. There was nothing in the desert. <laughs> Look at the cap that he found. <gasps> Do you know what kind of a cap that is? That's right, it's a bottle cap. And look at what he's calling a desert. <gasps> Do you recognize that? Is that a sandbox? I see a shovel and a bucket. I'll bet that's Mia's sandbox. Oh, my toes were cold and my heart was sad. I would never find a present as special as my friend. The snail said, all I needed was a good rest. So here's Alfie out in the backyard and it's raining. And here's the snail. He knew the perfect place for me to take a nap. And snails move slow and they talk slowly. Just over those stones, he said. 
And sure enough, just over their stones was a pond. And Snail knew that turtles that live out in the wild, they hibernate in ponds. They dig into the mud and they take a long nap. So in the middle of the pond that's covered with ice and snow, it says, so I napped. And look, Toby the dog is looking at the pond. Maybe he smells something or sees something. And look at Nia. She's not making a snowman. Do you see what she's building? She's building a snow turtle. She misses Alfie. He's been gone for a while now. And he's gone all winter. And here the weather has changed. It looks like spring, just like what's come to DC. And in the pond it says, and I napped and napped. So now the snow is gone, the ice is gone. And Mia, she's planting some seeds in a pot. And Toby's there with her resting under a chair. Let's see what happens. When I woke up, I felt better. I asked the fish for help, and she showed me the things that had fallen to the bottom. And then I saw it. It was perfect. It looked just like something Nia would love. And there's the fish who showed Alfie the things at the bottom. And if you look closely, you'll see the keychain. But it's not any keychain. It's a turtle keychain. And Alfie knew that Nia would love a turtle keychain. So Alfie put it on his back. I had to rush to the party. When I finally got over the rocks, the snail said, that was fast. I was right on time. There she was. And you can see Alfie's arriving with the turtle keychain on his back and Nia is outside with her family getting ready to celebrate her birthday. Now remember, Alfie climbed out of his home on her seventh birthday, but he was napping all this time and he thinks he's just made that birthday party. But when I turn the page, look at the number on the balloon. If you said the number eight, you're right. I could tell Nia was very surprised and happy. I had brought her the perfect present. Now we were seven together. Nia is so surprised. She hasn't seen Alfie, her pet turtle, in a whole year. He thinks she's excited to see the present. But you can decide which is making her more happy. The present or seeing her pet turtle. And there you see she's playing with him that evening after her party. And that, my friends, is the end of Alfie, the turtle that disappeared by Thyra Hedder. And as soon as our schools reopen, I hope you can get back to your school library and borrow lots of books and read stories as wonderful as this one. And when our schools open, our neighborhood libraries will open and there you can borrow books and take them home and dive into the magic world of books. Thanks so much for joining me.